Hey everyone, welcome to the Canine Culture Podcast, where we talk about everything dog. Q and A's with veterinarian professionals, rescue operators, everyday topics. We cover everything dog on this podcast. So make sure you subscribe to the Canine Culture Podcast on your favorite podcast platform, and make sure you're following us on social media on both Instagram and Facebook. Thanks again for listening. Now here's that next episode. Hey everyone, welcome to the Canine Culture Podcast. This is your host, Brittany. And today we're going to talk about dogs and thunderstorms. If your dog isn't afraid of thunderstorms, you probably know someone that has a dog that is afraid of thunderstorms. They start panting, licking, pacing, barking, shaking. They're trying to hide. They want to escape. And it's that dog thunderstorm anxiety. So if you know someone that needs this episode, please make sure you share it. As we come up on the summer here, we're going to have more and more thunderstorms. And so we want to be ready to protect our furry friends and try to help them out the best that we can. So dogs are normally afraid of thunderstorms for a few different reasons. One, of course, is the sound. They're very loud. It can even be loud enough and or close enough to kind of create a little bit of vibration in the house or movement. And then also a change of pressure. Um, They're really sensitive to that as well. So they can kind of sense that change in pressure. So what are some things that you can do to help your dog? Number one, make sure they have a safe space. So you want to make sure that wherever they are during the thunderstorm, they can't hurt themselves. So you don't want them in a room, maybe with like a lot of windows Um, You also probably don't want it to be separated with just screens, especially like a screen door from the inside to outside. They could tear through that. They could hurt themselves using that. You also want to make sure that wherever they're going during the thunderstorms is not where they would normally go if they are like in trouble or something like that. And so this for you might look like, you know, their crate if they already have a crate and they're used to using it maybe a dark, small closet, Um, just maybe a darker room with no windows, just trying to help kind of soothe them. And of course, you probably want to practice this, kind of sit in there with them or near wherever they're at a few times, maybe kind of reinforcing it's a safe space for them, uh, just to see if that might work for you during the next thunderstorm. Second option that you have is providing some breath background noise. So my dogs love some white noise or like a yoga playlist. And so playing something like that to kind of drown out some of that sound to kind of distract them, that's always also really helpful. Third thing that you can do is try to soothe your dog with toys and treats. So depending on, you know, what they're motivated by, maybe even getting out one of those enrichment puzzles and letting them do do that to try to distract them. Um, Or if they're really destructive during thunderstorms, you know, some dogs will just get really destructive. They're just so anxious using like a very strong toy, especially if you can fill it with something, you know, peanut butter or treats or whatever it might be. That could be a positive outlet for them to kind of release that anxiety. Another option uh, would be to get them a thunder coat or something similar to that. So kind of wrapping them in something making them feel safe, whether it's a DIY or something that you order that's actually meant for thunderstorms. There's so many different options on Chewy and Amazon, probably even your local uh, pet smart or pet facility. So having something that they can actually wear could also be helpful. Fifth option is a supplement of some sort. Now, this should absolutely be discussed with your vet, a very extensive conversation to see what's best for your dog, but perhaps it's something like CBD or something that is for anxiety that has L-theanine or some of those other elements that kind of help calm dogs down. So talking to your vet, especially depending on the level of severity um, of the anxiety that your dog has, your vet might even have a better idea. But that's another option, too, is kind of supplementing and preparing for it in that manner. 
Would love to hear from any of you on what you guys do during thunderstorms to help soothe your dog's anxiety, to help them feel safe. So feel free to send those in. We are on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. You can also email us at the canine culture podcast at gmail.com. Um, and as always, please make sure you're subscribed to us on your favorite podcast platform. Thank you for tuning in to the Canine Culture Podcast. Please make sure you subscribe to the Canine Culture Podcast on your favorite podcast platform and make sure you're following us on social media. If you have any recommendations, any topics that you'd like to hear, if you know of any guests that would be good for the show or if you yourself want to be a guest, please reach out to us. Send us an email at canineculturepodcast at gmail.com or send us a direct message on social media. Thank you for listening and please share this with any of your dog loving friends.